Mary Blocker from Mary's Card Cafe. Hello, hello, Carol. Hello, Tina and Linda. Sandy. Bunny. <laughs> Lynn. Cindy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling okay, you guys. My shoulder's slowly getting better. Thank you, Carol, for sharing. Uh, my shoulder is, yeah, it's still not 100% being able to rotate or move all the way. It's uh, kind of slowly getting better. Um, I'm like <clears throat> a lot of uh, ibuprofen, kind of a high amount of ibuprofen and icing, but um, I'm kind of down. I was doing three times a day with the ibuprofen. Thanks, Tina, for sharing, and I've gone down to just once, you know, tummy stuff, and um, it's not, that's not fun. <laughs> oh, it has been a beautiful couple of days, huh? My uh, daughter, my college daughter, she is coming home. She's coming home from Pullman today. She didn't want to wait for a friend of hers to, um, to come in April. <clears throat> She wanted to get home sooner than that, and somebody was coming home that lives off Newberry, not too far from us. So Lenny's going to go pick her up later because I've got my uh, 6 o'clock tonight, the specialty class, um, for the enjoy, uh, enjoy the moment. And so, yeah. So anyway, um, I just have my virtual stamp camp registration up. I don't know if you looked up, saw on Facebook, I had a post all about the real nitty-gritty details about the virtual stamp camp, which is going to be so much fun. I've already decided what um, stamp sets and things I'll be using, and I'm all excited about that. So, yeah. Um, so you can check it out, uh, my blog. And um, I am going to upload this Facebook Live to YouTube. And so if you forget about it and things, you can find it on YouTube as well. Hello, Colleen. And... Um, <clears throat> And it'll have all that, that there, too, for you. So um, just to know that March 15th is the drop-dead line for the registration. And um, it's uh, the hostess code for the virtual stamp camp is on the blog. Um, and I can, let's see, I've got, hold on. <laughs> I can put the I can put the host code here as well. It's V Z V. Oh nope, that's not the one. Ooh, that is not the one. Do not do that one. Do not do that one. That was the last host code. <laughs> well, I think I have. Oh, hold on. I have the host code, ladies. Do I? Oh, gosh, you guys, I'll have to find the host code. I do not have that host code right here. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> hey, Christy. Yeah, the host code is on my uh, blog, but I can put it here as well. It's U Y S H. 7 N D E and oh I have anybody who's doing the uh, make a card send a card group I do have a change to make if you have Judy O'Hara on your list I will send out an email but Judy um, Judy O'Hara it is not B E it's N E for Northwest uh, yeah so kind of crazy but it's N E for Northwest but I'll put that out you know so Anyway, so just why we're, we're here, so yeah, the virtual stamp camp. So if you saw my blog, we're going to be using things like the Fancy Phrases uh, stamp set, Way to Goat, um, Lovely You Bundle, uh, Circle Celebration, and t -t 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 -t, those might be the four sets. I don't <laughs> quite have that in front of me. Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, so $35 registration includes shipping. No shipping. That's awesome. 
that's all included, and you get your roll of pool party sheer ribbon, playing with dots, resin, playing with patterns, resin dots, a quarter package of playing with patterns DSP, and entries for big, big prizes, you guys. I'm telling you, I've got some bundles. I'm looking at some color collection things. Going to be great. But um, on the actual um, stamp camp day during the live, you can't win any prizes if you have not done the registration. And there is um, another way on my blog, you might notice with a $60 online purchase using the host code um, by March 15th, you will actually get all of this free. So just saying, that's another way to think about it. Um, you might add some of those things we're gonna be using um, that you, know, you don't have at home or things that are on your wish list. So yeah, there we go. Hello, Miss Bonnie. Thank you for um, sharing. I appreciate that. So yeah, so the, I don't know if I told you that, ibuprofen I'm taking once, just once a day now. I, I, uh, it's 600 milligrams and it's at this point, it's been four days with it and it's um, kind of starting to hurt my stomach. So I'm not having a lot, a lot of pain anymore. So, um, but I still just can't raise my right arm up kind of past, uh, yeah. Anyway, halfway point, <laughs> but it's, it's getting much, much better. So anyway, so welcome you guys. Hello. Hello. Hey, Bonnie. Okay. So that's the idea there. March 15th is that deadline to register. $35 does include shipping using this host code up at the top here with a $60 online order. Uh, through me using that code, you will get all of these things free and you'll be in for drawings of great prizes. So lots and lots of fun things to do there. So, ah, oh, thank you. Okay, you guys, so hey, I just wanna show you, um, I do prizes once in a while and I am still trying to figure out the best way to do my prizes. But what I did is last week, these are all the people that were at Facebook Live and I said I would, I would do this from last week. Everyone from Facebook Live last week that was sharing and talking and all of that, um, I am uh, going to be drawing to give away a few prizes today. Um, I'm kind of keeping a list every time there's a live, and on those times I'm going to do prizes, then I will have that list to go to. And it is, Linda, 99% sure it's tendinitis in my shoulder. Yeah. I heard it a couple weeks ago, I think, exercising, and then... Um, I guess I aggravated again when I was mopping the floor. So, all right. So today I have the Opal Rounds from the January to June 2021 mini catalog that I'm going to be giving out. I also have a package of the Combo Snail Mail Ribbon Combo Pack and the Sprinkles Elements. Great for shaker cards and things, you guys. So those are the three things. I'm giving away three today. And um, I'm going to pull numbers for my little flowers here. And so if you are not watching today and you were here last week, that's okay. And the first one is going to number one, which is Miss Anita G. And Anita is going to be getting our combo ribbon. Okay, that's Miss Anita. And our shaker, shaker, shakers, our little ice cream shakers, is going to go to number eight. Tammy K is getting the sprinkles. Awesome. Hey, Betty. Let me add a couple more people for today. Marie. Howdy ho, Marie. Hey, Vicki. Okay. Oh, Betty McMaster. And one more, and that is for the beautiful opal rounds, which I'm going to be using today. Yippee! That is going to go to number 11, Mickey. Miss Mickey Buchanan is going to get the opal rounds. How awesome. Those are my winners today. That's great. Lucky them, right? Oh, and maybe lucky you at another time. 
Those of you who haven't won any of my prizes, I bet you'll be lucky if you do the spring <laughs> stamp camp, the spring virtual stamp camp, right? Oh, all right. So then I want to let you know that tonight I'm going to share. Why is my thing not working? Sorry, goodness. Anne and Linda. <laughs> Congrats, winners. You guys are so nice. Congratulating all the congratulating all the winners. That is so great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it's hard. It's hard to win when there's so many names and so little prizes, right? <laughs> well, today, you guys, I am going to share. It's a stamp set sharing night, so I'm going to share all about our Sand and Sea suite of products. The Sand and Sea suite of product has the Friends Like Seashells and the Seashells Embossing Folder, the Opal Rounds, um, the Seashell uh, Die Cuts, the Sand and Sea Designer Series paper, I love the pearlescent paper and the little, um, what do you call these? I call them stickers, but you know, the seaside, seashell stickers. So yeah, so I'm gonna share some cards with you. And we are gonna have some fun. <laughs> okay, well, what should we do first? Well, I'll share some cards. So these are cards that um, some fellow demonstrators had made. There's this pretty one here with Calypso, uh, Flirty Flamingo, actually, this is done with. Flirty Flamingo. It's very similar to actually one of the cards in the um, in the catalog, which is great. I love to use the catalog for um, inspiration. And this was a fellow demonstrator, Jenny Day. Oh, I think I shared this one at my open house um, here, the embossed with the pearlescence, just beautiful. This is Kathy Maurer, and I love how she does the insides of her cards as well. This one is, that's beautiful. This one is in our Blushing Bride. Uh, Blushing Bride is part of the color combination in the uh, designer series paper. So that's what's in here. And I think they used, yep, they embossed the embossing folder using vellum. Isn't that pretty? And this was Pauline. Oh, this is one that I made at the open house. <laughs> And then here's another one that's using the um, shading, using their um, blending brushes or stampin' sponges, but they've embossed that embossing folder. This was Teresa. And then one more here with, it looks like Knight of Navy with die cutting out a couple of those beautiful shells. And I think that's the pearlescent paper right there. And there's opal rounds, very nice. This is Mel, and then I don't know if you can see, she stamped with uh, the craft white of the shells onto the crumb cake paper. I don't know if you can see, oh yeah, you can see that real well. Hey B, just got home, yay. B dropped off her card contest, her and Bunny's card contest cards from the card sketch challenge. Still have two days. All right, and then there's this one. This person was an overachiever. Okay, you ready? Dun 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 dun. Look at that. Did this really nice pop up using that beautiful designer series paper and then a lot of the die cuts and the images, even using some of the little sea, sh uh, the sea turtle from another paper. And this was Deb Babcock. Isn't that awesome? That is crazy awesome. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got today. We've got the Friends Are Like Seashell stamp set, the Shell Dies. That is one awesome looking die. We have the beautiful Seashells 3D embossing folder, and then the Sand and Sea Designer Paper. So the Sand and Sea Designer Paper has colors like Seaside Spray and... Um, Blushing Bride, it has Flirty Flamingo, and um, Sahara Sand, Crushed Curry. Let 
I love, love this one here. You can see in the paper, the designer series paper, they, they, you can see a little bit of like the background um, coloring that you see, kind of the splotching. That actually is the shade in stamp. So there's a stamp for the shell, but then there's also an, um, a shade in where you could color in with just stamping, but it's not doesn't quite fit on it. So it kind of gives that, that water colored kind of look. It's very neat. And then the back side, we've got, oh, the sandy bottom here. Some really pretty blues, like waves. And then I just love these pretty pink ones. This sand dollar one I think is like almost my one of my is my favorite. <laughs> and that back side is so pretty. That one goes in there. And I got things kind of out of order in here, don't I? And then more of that sand. Oh, that paper is just so nice. Love it. Oh, on your wish list. Uh-huh. Yeah. The stamp set's pretty nifty. Now you're going to think, well, oh, and then the opal rounds. And you guys saw those. That was one of the prizes I gave away that we'll be using the opal rounds. Yeah, you saw that um, the stamp set friends are like seashells. It is not the actual size on this stamp set right here. And I'll show you that in a minute. But these are the stickers that I just wanted to bring to your attention. So these are done on the pearlescent paper. So you have the, um, this is Flirty Flamingo, and we've got a little seaside spray going on there. I love these little clamshells and the little um, stars, sea stars. Kind of nifty, aren't they? So those are fun too. But the friends are like seashells. You can see the actual size actually when you're looking at the dice. Hey, Michelle. So in this, this is one die, kind of like the butterflies last week, right? It's one die, but there's this die, and then there's some of the other pieces that you can stamp and die cut. So, but you can see now the size of the stamps, right, compared to what it's showing on the cover. It's like half the size. So it's a large, large stamps, and not all of them are large. I mean, if you take a look at this one here, these aren't, aren't real large, they're smaller right? But um, it just gives you an idea of that, okay? All right. Well, what I want to show you is, okay, so how are people using this? Hello, Estrella. How are you today? We are getting started and going to have fun. Okay, so I want to show you this. I am going to... Um, bring this over and pull out. I've got the pearlescent paper right here, and I'm not sure what I'm doing with it yet, but I wanna show you what happens on what people um, will often do with this, okay? I'm going to go ahead and use the 3D embossing folder first, because this is kind of like a, this is kind of like a two, two, two embossing, like we have, we have two-step stamping, but this is a two embossing process, really. It's a dry embossing and then it's a die cutting. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna go right next door to my machine and I'm going to do this embossing folder. And then I'm gonna bring the die cut machine over to show you um, what else we can do, okay? So I'll be right back with the machine after I roll this through the, through the machine. machine right there for a minute just so I can talk with you. Okay, so I've got this that I've put through the embossing machine. Let me go ahead and bring it out and talk about, oh, how beautiful, how gorgeous and beautiful is that. I mean, come on, just that, now a greeting, you're done. It's kind of like that one I shared about with uh, Kathy Maurer, right? Okay, I'm going to lift up here because I'm going to bring my die cut machine in now. Our stamp and cut and emboss machine. Um, yeah, which way to go with it? I'm just gonna roll it through this way. All right, so I need my 
one, my two, my really getting used up three. <laughs> and now I'm going to put, if you guys can see this, I'm going to put the embossed piece. You guys can see that, right? Yeah, you can. I'm gonna put the embossed piece there, and now I'm going to lay this over top. And when I lay this over top, I'm going to line it up just like that. I'm gonna put my plate on and then roll it, run it through. Now what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen. Ooh, this is so heavy and tight. <laughs> All right, let me move the machine. I know that was an awkward way to do the machine. Ugh. Let me bring you back down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I bumped you. Don't want any of that. Okay. So now when I open this up and take this off, what I now have, you guys, is a very beautiful... and already embossed shells. So I do the 3D embossing folder first, then I run it through the die cut machine using this one die right over top, and I get this beautiful detailed die. Now if I ran this through without doing the 3D embossing folder, I would not have any of the detail on these uh, seaweed pieces. I would not have any of the raised detail on any of these shells. So that's why you want to do your 3D embossing folder first. Then do your die cut. So that's just a little tip for you there. And so now since I did that, I'm like, okay, I better, better do something with it, right? <laughs> So then I thought I could have this right over top, this beautiful um, piece of the designer series paper. I love this. It kind of just is so, I don't know, it's just so springy and everything. That's going to go on the inside of the card. So what I'm going to do is adhere this down. This is just so beautiful in itself. There's not a whole lot you have to do, you know. Yeah, whoa, I'm starting to like this. You betcha. All right, and then I've got this beautiful thing right here that's going to go right to that bottom, and it fits on there beautifully. So now how, I'm gonna, how am I going to use that? Well, I'm going to do it a couple of ways. First, I'm going to get my liquid glue, and I'm just going to put some dots. Um, could I have done, uh-huh, could I have done adhesive sheets, you guys? Now, where you have raised, you've got the, what I would say, the deboss side where it bows in because it's been embossed on the other side. You're not going to be able to put really anything there, but I'm going to show you I am. Yeah, I'm going to put a dimensional in some of those spots. I know that's a little bit uh, deeper than I necessarily want, but I think it's going to help just keep that raised up or raised out kind of thing, and then they won't uh, kind of smoosh in on themselves, right? So I'm going to try it and see. So I've done a little bit of glue all around those things that are going to actually touch the cardstock, and then I'm going to take a dimensional, and I'm just going to put it down in the center there. I'm going to put it down in the center right there. Where it's the deepest, I'm going to put a dimensional. And, you know, I'm not going to put one there. Yeah, maybe I will, so we'll see. So I'm going to put a dimensional there, too. That way, the um, the shells that are pushed out won't bend back in when I put it on here. That's my theory, anyway. Okay. So now I'm going to line this back up at the bottom. Put that down.
There we are, how gorgeous is that? Very, very pretty. Now I need a greeting, and there are fantastic greetings in here, you guys. Let me just tell you. Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. I'm so happy I found you. Wishing you the very best. You are, you are unique and completely amazing. Love you to the beach and back. Friends are like collections of seashells. You collect them along the way. I mean, that is just wonderful. So I am going to do a happy birthday one because I just want something going across here. And I need to grab a block. And as I think about the color I want to use, oh, you know what, you guys? I have the um, I have the leftover greetings that I did with the butterflies from last week and the many messages, but I don't think I want to use that. I think that's just too dark. So I am going to get another piece of the crushed curry. The crushed curry will be really good for us. Because that goes with the base that's there. That just seems so bright, doesn't it? Woohoo. And then to stamp, I guess I'm going to use the stays on. I feel so dark, but I'm going to. See what happens when you haven't used it before? Ooh. Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. Love it. Let's grab our mini cutter here. Boy, that card is just beautiful just the way it is. I say we just send it as is. <laughs> now all I'm going to do on this is a quick rectangle. Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. And that's just going to go right here. But I am going to also put a little designer series paper in there with it, I think. We'll see. I'm going to take a look at my designer series paper here that I have. So I just want to give it a little kind of like a layer. Let's see. Where's that gray? Yes, this right here. Ooh, I thought I had a piece of that around. Oh well. You know what? I don't like that, you guys. I'm just gonna go with it as it is. Cause I'm gonna use some opal rounds too. That cutter, yeah, that was actually a cutter that was um, an incentive for uh, joining Stampin' Up! a while back. I can't quite remember the... There's that. And my little opal rounds. And then if you were already a demonstrator, you could order one but only one. There's an opal round there. And one up here. Ooh, I like that. I like it, I like it, I like it. And another right there. All right, so isn't that beautiful? Just like, I mean, just how stunning is that, you guys? 
just all that dimension. But I would suggest, yeah, put a dimensional behind um, some of those and then just use your glue to glue down those. But that designer paper, I'm gonna come down a little closer. Yeah, the stamp dies and embossing folder, just beautiful. So then we have this, let's go ahead and stamp a shell. And we'll use the flirty flamingo, I think. Why not? But we'll do this pretty shell. Ooh, that's fun. So there's this shell. And then see the how it has, um, you can see through it. So in the stamp set, there is the um, fill-in. You can fill it in. It would be this one right here. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it like that. And we'll glue that right into the inside. Whoa! I got, ooh, I got tape slobber. <laughs> Thank you. You guys saying this is pretty. It is. It's very pretty. But yeah, so that was just me showing you how to do your 3D embossing folder first of the seashells, then go ahead and run your embossed piece through the die cut machine and you get this beautiful, beautiful card. Just like that, okay? All right, so that's that one. Kind of made just like a really awesome, beautiful one there, didn't I? Just right, just right there, just like that. Okay, this card, you guys, we are going to do, and it's funny, it actually is the same layout as one that I'm going to be doing in the um, specialty class at 6 o'clock today. So I've just taken a piece of five and a half by two and a half of the designer series paper. Ooh, see, isn't that pretty too? If I wanted to do something... Um, See sensational. You are funny, Marie. Um, if I wanted to do something monochromatic, but I'm just going ahead and taking this piece that's two and a half by five and a half. And ooh, I'm not going to do that yet. Oh, oh, I'm so glad. I need to stamp a little bit. I need to stamp a little background here. Okay, so I have the misty moonlight which Misty Moonlight is not a color in the designer series paper at Seaside Spray, but you guys, I happen to have this piece, right? So um, we're using it. But I am going to use the sand dollar. Oh, it's awfully, no, I don't need the sand dollar. Let's do something smaller and fun. Let's do, ah, there's this little, the little clam, little bigger clam and the starfish. We're going to use that one and we're going to use the starfish. And what we're going to do is we're going to stamp. I'm going to make like a, a stamp of my own. I'm going to put this that right there and I'm going to put this right here. So these two little guys are going to go on here just as a random little background. Now I could have stamped off so it wouldn't be as dark as it is, but I'm okay with that. Now I'm not going to go all the way down because you're not going to see it all. But there we go. Mm. Trying to make it look random. That looks pretty random to me. Okay, now I can glue my piece down. Goodness. Yeah, the light blue is really pretty, isn't it? The seaside spray. So that's gonna go down. And then this is just an opposite side of that paper. I have a um, half inch strip here. And you could use ribbon to go across there or just a different a different uh, paper like I'm doing here that just kind of breaks up that, that line. Oh, I need that little shell right here because it is a gap there. Can you see it? I have to fill that in. So I took the starfish off 
And now I'll just stamp that guy right there. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the starfish stamp is really cute. All right. And then I have these three postage stamps. This actually is a layout that's going to be happening at the Enjoy the Moments specialty class. Um, I had a whole bunch of these extra, so I said, eh, I'll use them. So now I'm going to bring in, like we said, we've got the starfish. Be like that starfish. I'm going to use this other larger clamshell. And then we're going to use our greeting. All right, so I'm going to bring in our Sahara Sand. And our Sahara Sand clamshell. Fun. So we're going to have a Sahara Sand clamshell here. And then I'm going to have my starfish here. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> Ah, I did it. My starfish in the wrong color, you guys. Ah. Let's do it again. My seaside, my Sahara sand, little shell there. Now I gotta move that ink and bring this one over. Ugh. Then my starfish is gonna go here. Cute. Then on this one, I'm going to use the starfish again but this time I'm gonna bring in the larger sand dollar why I don't know it's just because it's a variety he's quite large but he's fun and they're overlapping but I'm okay with that because this one's gonna come over here and overlap too Yes, I love it, I love it. And then I'm gonna take the little guy here and he's gonna to overlap too. I need a stamp, I need a block. Okay, and then on this one, it's going to be the greeting. This says, love you to the beach and back. Okay. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to use dimensionals on these. And then I'm going to place the middle one first. And then the other two. So love you to the beach and back is going to go right in the center. Then this will go on either side, as much space as I want between them. There we go. We're going to add some opal rounds. I lost my round. I'm going to bring one over, right over there. Put one right in the center there. And 
Where's this one gonna go? Do, do, do. It's like I have this little, uh, what is that, where people go out and they're looking for a metal, a little metal detector. I don't have a metal detector, I've got a, a bling detector. <laughs> so I put it there and I put it there. I kinda don't like that I did that. So now this one's gonna come right down here. Well, I'm not sure I like where I set those, but hey, what are you gonna do? So there's that, fun, huh? That's well, kind of fun. Everybody's so quiet. Ah, I'm not real clear tonight, huh? It's kind of gotten a little, a little fuzzy. So love you to the beach and back, but we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of, not stamping, but I'm going to bring in the beautiful soft uh, seaside spray pearlized there. Oh, the sticker, I love it. Ah, oh, my, got gunk on my stamp and seal, you guys. Just not getting real clean runner lines tonight. Put that on the inside. And there we are, card number two. So a lot of texture on this one, you know, there's that background there, there's that. So think about if we had used the, um, just the soft blue here and then had this piece as the accent there. How different would this card look, right? Yeah, you know, it could. Okay. I've got one more card I was thinking about, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. And I already did a little bit of work here. So I have this. I already embossed it on crumb cake. And I have a crumb cake base. And so then I thought, how do I want my crumb cake base? Ooh, not like that. It could go like this, though. Or it could just go like this. What I wanted to do now, though, is I wanted to do some of those shells and then die cut out those shells, but I wanted to see how I could do it and how it would look on the crumb cake. So this is kind of an experiment, you guys, all right? And I want to have this one. And I'm just thinking about how that die is, is you know what I mean? Because I want to have it kind of in the place where it need, I want it to be. Okay, now I am going to take the, the shadowy piece here, and I just want to see how it would look if I use it. If I ink it up, but then stamp off, because see how dark that is? I don't want it that dark. That's like way too dark. And then come here. Trying to think how this goes. It just kind of goes just kind of like that. So, but that just kind of shades it in a little bit more, right? So I'm gonna run this through real quick. machine over here. I just didn't think I needed to funny thing though now as I've lost oh here it is. <laughs> I'm like I lost my die. How do you lose that big die, right? So I just wanted to do that real quick because now I can come in 
And I can take my other, I guess I could have done that before I stamped it all, but you know, I like to do things the hard way. So then I'm gonna bring in my Misty Moonlight and the big shell. Now I don't think I'll have to on this big shell fill it. Whoa, got some pearlescent paper there, you guys. That it would be interesting. I think I can come and just stamp this right on top where it goes. There's that one. And then I have the, I want this one right here. And I'm gonna do this one with crushed curry. See if that works. I think it's coming out just fine on that um, crumb cake. Sorry about my ugly hair in the way. Oh, that is not dark enough at all. Never mind on that one. We'll just take these two. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's kind of on the fly tonight, Christy. You betcha. Now, there's not a die cut for these guys, but guess what? That's okay. You just go around. And had I stamped it right on like I should have, but no big deal. I can just go around. You're just going to cut off the excess. There are dies for some of the shells, but not these that are part of the part of the die. But half the work's already all done for you, right? So now you could also then run the die through with green. And then you could have the seaweed green for your project. That would be good. But as you see, I didn't do that. All right. So we've got our little bit there. Cute. All right, I am ready. I am ready, you guys, I am ready. Oh, 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 I am not ready. I am not ready, you guys. I've got this, I wanna use that. It's part of the um, art gallery suite of products. I'm just gonna do a nice big long piece here. How am I doing this? It's really pretty because it has kind of the gold going through it, but it's kind of that crumb cake color. Now, last week I showed you, I make my first knot like this, and I turn it like so. Oh, I'm getting, getting, I am getting all blurry. Am I getting all blurry, you guys? And then make my bow. I don't want, and then my bow is going to be standing the right way. Now this bow I kind of messed up here because I was looking at my, and I don't think I want the bow like this. That's not gonna work for me. So we're gonna leave that aside because I have the shells and that's where I want the shells to lay. Now you guys know that when I've done an embossing folder, I like to use my liquid glue. It really does hold better. It's thicker than the tape and it has that ability to get down, whoop, get down in there in those crevices. But what I also like about it is that when you use your tape runner, you are pressing down quite hard, and you might take out some of that beautiful embossing, that raised embossing. That one's gonna go here, and I will use liquid glue on anything that I'm gluing to the embossed piece as well. I'm gonna use dimensionals on this one.
Linda Worth, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it does look really good on the crumb cake. It's worked out really well. I don't have my readers on, so Lord knows I'm not. So then this is gonna sit like that, but now, hold on, what happens if I bring in Bring in my little sticker guy here. I have my little starfish. Could stick my little starfish there. Yes, I could. Could also, let's see about bringing another little guy in here. Ah, uh, no, that doesn't work. Come here, little guy. Yes, you can come off. Don't you rip anything. You can do it. Don't, don't, don't. That's okay. You go back here. The little, that little star will be enough. I really want to use that, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm just not going to. Okay. What greeting, what greeting, what greeting? I have, where is it? I have this little piece right here. I'm gonna use this somehow for my greeting. We are going to use for you. Just a little for you. And then I can put something inside. For you. Whoop. Oop, bees. All right, so let's use our misty moonlight, our nice and dark misty moonlight. Gonna stamp the for you. Right like so. And then Yep. All right. Dimensional. This is going to go here. And since this is already raised up, I just need a dimensional in the bottom right corner and then a little of my glue there. Let's see how that worked. I can see that dimensional. There we go. For you. I really don't think I like this sand dollar, you guys. Oh, I have to leave it there though. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I like him. Not sure. Anyway, we will use our opal rounds because what? We can, right? Boy, my little take your pick doesn't want to pick up today. We'll put one there. We're gonna put one up here. And we're going to put another right. Hello. Come off. <laughs> oh, now it wants to hold it. Get, get. Yeah, turkey. And right there. There's that, and let's put an inside in because it says for you, and we'll use our birthday again. Since it's on a block and I don't have to pull another one out. <laughs> Ooh, some Wink of Stella on it too, you betcha. Happy birthday to a beautiful friend. I think I stamped that a little crooked. And I'm going to add just a little touch on the inside with my sand dollar. 
I'm going to ink them up, stamp off. And I just have that hint of that sand dollar behind the writing. Now, somebody said, wink a Stella. I could winky, winky, winky. You betcha I could. Kind of gives a little, deepens up the color a little bit on the crumb cake, doesn't it? So there's a little added glitz. Fun. Okay, I just can't seem to stop. Stop, Mary, stop. Thanks for that idea. <laughs> okay, let me clean this stuff out of the way, my goodness. I sure do know how to get a mess going. That is for sure. And then he didn't do anything with this ribbon. I mean, you know, too much is too much. Go a little crazy trying to do something. So this really didn't need it, honestly, truly. All right, so let's take a look-see. These were my three cards. Oh, I was going to actually turn this one this way because you could have done it that way in having the things here and the greeting, right? But I didn't end up turning it. So we have two going um, vertically and then one going horizontally. We used our round opals in each. And isn't it interesting? The opals in this one are looking very pink. They've got the pink hues in it. This one, I'm seeing the blue hues pulling out from this blue. And then this one here as well, it's got this opals pulling the blues, this one's kind of pulling the pink. Kind of nifty. Those opals really take on all those colors. So, well, thank you guys for joining me tonight. I want to take a look at my list here to make sure. Just, I like to make sure I've got, got everybody. And I've got Sandy on here. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah, I think I do, you guys. So, which one of the three are your favorite? Is it the... Is it the love you to the beach? Is it the crumb cake or the crushed curry one? Which is your best? Which one do you like the most? I This one's really pretty. Just so soft in the colors, you know? Anyway, guys, until next time, happy stamping!